Hello everyone, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand the Rangers podcast and I'm joining you today after Rangers defeated Motherwell by two goals to one in a drab encounter uh, for Park, lit up by a sensational maradona esque goal from Malik Tillman. Rangers made three changes from the side that played against Liverpool in, I say played, uh, against Liverpool in midweek. And we brought in today into the side Leon King for the, the injured Connor Goldson. Brian Jack also injured. He dropped out and uh, he was replaced by the aforementioned Tillman. And then Fashion Sakala, I thought, was rather unluckily left out. Uh, and Ravi Matondo came in for him. Uh, Rangers started reasonably well, actually. Two decent opportunities in the first 10 minutes. Tillman really should have scored uh, with one that he put over the bar. And then, well, if you are of the uh, philosophical school of nihilism, and you believe that life is a, a brief and, and pointless existence likely to end in death, that first half would have reiterated it to you because nothing happened. I mean, literally. The Rangers Twitter account, which does play-by-play -play on these games, had four tweets in 45 minutes. It was that grim. Motherwell were content, obviously, to, to just sit in and, and see what we could offer, and we couldn't do much, you know. The horseshoe passing, nobody taking a man on, didn't get the ball moving quickly enough. It was just insipid. It was just slow. It was very Sunday morning. And when half time came, um, we expected some changes to bring a bit of urgency. None came. But Rangers did get uh, the opening goal. And, and what a goal. Malik Tillman, who hadn't been great, picks the ball up on the halfway line. He, he was dropping a bit deeper to try and get involved. Drives at the Motherwell defence. They back off and allow it to open up for him. He says, thank you very much. Um, heads into their box. And then... The thing I like about this the most is how often do you see players, even at the top level, that they go on a 40-50 yard run and then whether it's the exertion or whether it's they get overexcited, they don't pick the right finish. He did um, for 1-0 and really you were just left thinking, where the hell did that come from? And uh, not all that long later, it was two corner kick from Borna Barisic. John Lundstrom got up, takes a slight deflection off Mugabe and then it goes for 2-0 for and Reigns looked utterly comfortable at that point, you thought we're just going to see it out with a minimum of fuss, but Motherwell got one back. McKinstry hits a free kick in from the left. He kind of overhits it uh, and it curls into the top corner. I do think Alan McGregor should have done better, to be honest, and I accept that he's not expecting it, the, the low sun, all of that kind of thing, but he takes a step forward and that means he can't get back, whereas I think that if he's positioned where his starting position was, he can take a couple of steps and get a tip on it and, and tip it over the bar. And look, at that point, given the week we've had, you could be forgiven for thinking, hmm, here we go. Um, but Rangers did manage to see it out. It felt frantic, but it really wasn't. Uh, I think we're not kidded that Motherwell are a great side or anything, but we saw it out and got the victory. Look, three points were all that mattered, um, absolutely, but I don't think that's a performance that's going to stop anybody asking the questions or having the concerns that they have about Giovanni Van Bronckhorst's future at Rangers. It was drab. Um, we are one paced. I think that you see that Tav is carrying an injury. He's nowhere near the player that we know he is. Scott Arfield playing his third game in a week was non-existent. He can't do it. And a couple of players like Lundstrom, um, Ken, are just nowhere near what we know they can be as well. If you're looking for pluses, Leon King continues to impress at the back, uh, and particularly Ben Davis. He's so calm and assured, and I think that he spreads that vibe to his team, and it was important today. Um... There's no short-term fix here. We're going to need to get to the World Cup, just keep winning games till, till the World Cup and get some of our key injured players back and get a rest for some of the other ones who look done in. And then in January, we must, must, must address the positional issues in the team. We need midfielders. We have got to sign midfielders. It's not up for debate. The, the guys we've got have been good servants, but they can't do what we need them to do. Overall, though, I'm happy with the win. Uh, I'm not being fooled by where Rangers are, though, based on it. But uh, it would have felt a whole lot worse had we dropped any points today. Thanks for listening to me. I'll talk to you again on Wednesday night when Rangers take on Dundee in the League Cup. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.